Fanner Fanner family. I know I look a hot mess. I got baby starter locks just being ruthless and disrespectful. <laughs> but I was about to cook something the lazy person's way. And so I wanted to show you guys me cooking um, my new way of cooking this last few days anyway my lazy person's way so if you don't remember maybe you do maybe you don't I don't know how many of you remember anyway in 2017 December of seven no yes December either November or December of 2017 I think it was December um, I got some gifts from a uh, Banner Fanner who's now become family and I've camped with her and yeah we've hung out numerous times but um, she is definitely a um, gadget geek girl so she got me this Hot Logic Mini and basically it's like a hot plate uh, but not super hot. <laughs> So this one does plug into 110. I don't know if they had the 12 volt ones when she bought this or not, but this one plugs into 110, so I do plug it into my inverter, which it doesn't take much wattage, so it's, it does very fine. So in this, there is a plate that gets really warm. I think it gets up to 120 something degrees, this plate. And the bag is like a lunch bag with foil. And basically you can take whatever plastic container you have, um, the glass Pyrex dishes that fit in here, a frozen dinner, um, and put them in here and warm them up to eat. Now granted it does take a lot longer than it would if you had a microwave or an oven, but it's great for heating up leftovers, it's great for heating up things that are already kind of cooked and just need to be warmed before you eat them, like soup or something like that. Or if you cooked the day before and you want to take this to work with you and you can plug it up at your desk while your food warms up, it does not overheat the food. Um, and I put that to the test because I plugged something up in this and completely forgot about it an hour later and nothing was overdone. Um, that was some of the um, already cooked rice. I put it in this dish with a little bit of water, covered it up and put it in there and then I put another dish like this next to it with two turkey sausages in it and nothing got overcooked. Everything was moist and yummy and hot to eat. So we're going to do another lazy person's cooking, but I'm going to use some of my packaged meals. So I'm going to do mushroom masala. And I love these Tasty Bite meals. They are all natural. They are non-GMO. A lot of them are vegetarian. Um, you can microwave it. You can boil this pouch in water on the stove top, which is what I normally do. But I want to try it in the pouch on this heating element and see how it works. Hopefully it does not bust the pouch open. I don't think it will. If it can sit in boiling hot water, it should be able to sit inside of this heating element. I could, be, I could dump it out and put it inside this container with the top on it, but I kind of want to test this pouch situation out. Um, it's, like I said, it's made to be microwaved. It's made to be boiled in water as a sealed pouch. So I'm going to just go ahead and put it on top of this heating plate and see what happens. <laughs> This is either going to turn out really nice, really well, or um, I'm going to have a mess. One of the two is about to happen. So we're going to see. Um, I also have some tuna, and I'm thinking I'm going to eat this with my tuna. This is um, gluten-free, dolphin-safe, brand tax-free. This is the brandless tuna, which I think I might start buying some of this. It's really yummy. Wild albacore tuna in water, non-GMO. MSC certified, pole and troll wild caught, 100% sustainable and brandless, no salt added. So it's good tuna. I might start buying this tuna. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on the plate next to it. So I've got my two pouches and I'm going to plug this up and then I'm going to do something with these baby locks that are roofless. So it's been just over a month. So I'm going to plug that up and get this food 
cooking. All right, let's get it plugged in. I do wish this plug had some sort of a indicator, a light, so that you knew you were getting, you know, it does not have an indicator, neither does the dish. The dish has no kind of indicator. I just kind of touch it after a few minutes on the bottom to see if it's warming up. So, okay, we'll check it again in about 20 minutes. So, while I'm waiting for that to cook for the next 20 to 30 minutes, I'm going to do something with these unruly little baby locks that don't want to do what they're supposed to be doing. And I will be using, of course, my Hydrothermal Natural products. Daily Moisturizer. And the Hair Growth Oil. Those are the two products I'm using because I don't have any of the other products. Uh, and I just can't afford to buy the Protein Leave-In Conditioner or the Follicle Mist Spray right now. It's all good. I will get it. Those two are kind of the most important products anyway. So I will put a little bit of the lotion and then the oil, twist, and clip. So I think I'm going to start in the back because these are the most unruly ones back here and in the crown. And uh, then I work my way forward because my arms get a lot more tired if I go the opposite way. So if I start back here with my arms... Um, more fresh, if you will, and go this way. I don't have to raise them as high to get to the front. I know it seems weird, but that's the way I think sometimes, you know? So I'm going to speed this up and put on some nice music for you guys. All right, let's do it. Okay, so I've got it all, at least most of it, twisted and clipped. Um, I think when I get back to the East Coast, I'm going to have to have someone do this for me at least once. And see, that one just still wants to stick up. I'm going to clip on the end. I clipped them mostly at the base for the most part, but I think because I can't see where my partings are, I can't see where anything is in the back. I'm definitely going to have to at least one time get this professionally twisted so that I can maintain it. This is all started um, a friend and me. So this is the second time I'm twisting, retwisting in a month because my roots are just not staying. And I'm debating about if I want to start doing the interlocking at the roots. I'm not sure about that yet. I'm just not sure. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. I also noticed that every single time I do it, there are little, you know, a few strands of hair that I'm probably not catching in the right twist. So I know I'm going to have some parting issues with the parts. The parts, especially in the back, are not going to be really straight. Don't know if that's going to bother me later on as they mature. 
So definitely in a couple of months when I'm back on the East Coast, I'm going to have to get it professionally done and see if some of that can be corrected. I'm also wondering if I should have done bigger locks than what I did. I don't want them huge, but I almost feel like a few of them could be doubled up. So like I said, in a couple of months, I will go to a pro, pay that money to get it parted and um, the way I want it to be parted and sized the way I want it to be sized because I think some of them in the back are too small and they probably should be sized appropriately. And um, I want a brick layering kind of pattern. I don't want any parts to line up directly with the neck, the row above it or below it. So I kind of want a brick layer type pattern. And I don't think I've got that consistently throughout. So we shall see what the professional says in a few months. So sometime this summer, I know it won't be before my birthday, but sometime this summer I will go somewhere, probably somewhere in Maryland and get it done. Let me know if you're on the East Coast and you're in the DMV area. DMV stands for DC, Maryland, Virginia, for those that don't know. And you have a loctician there who is reasonably priced and knows what the heck they're doing with natural hair and is not gonna put gel all over my hair. I don't want gel all in my hair. Um, yeah, I don't want beeswax, I don't want gel, I don't want product product in my hair. I want something to help keep it moisturized and an oil but I don't want all that extra gunk in my hair. So if you know someone, drop their name and information in the comments and I'll look them up when I get to the East Coast in a couple of months. So I guess I'm going to wash my hands and let's check on dinner. Okay, here's my Hot Logic Mini and it is definitely warm, like really warm. Not too hot to touch, but it's definitely warm and these are, ooh, these are hot. These pouches are hot. So I need a slightly bigger table. <laughs> so I'm gonna get my container. And I'm gonna unplug this and then we're going to get this dished out so my sister can eat. So we got the mushroom masala. Ooh, that is so hot. And the albacore tuna. So this definitely is a win for me. Cool beans. So we're gonna pour that out. Oh my gosh, that is hot, hot, hot. Ooh, this container is hot. Ooh. Yeah, I probably did not need to heat it as long as I did, even though I'm kind of glad that I did. <laughs> but, um, you know, you get busy doing something else and this doesn't have any kind of a timer on it, but I'm glad that it does not overheat your food. It keeps it at a nice, even temperature. So I know you're like, you're gonna eat tuna with that? I sure am. <laughs> I sure am. I don't have any more rice. Uh, the pouch rice. I'll get that when I go to the grocery store the next time. So, and I don't have any more turkey sausage, so I'm gonna just put it all in there. Ooh, I don't know if you can see that steam. I am hoping the video is picking up that steam, but mm, that is good. Now, I found with these pouches, the um, tasty bites. You don't really need a lot of seasoning, but I always have to have some Cholula hot sauce. Cholula, Cholula. Just a little, you don't need much. The pouch is pretty um, seasoned, so you really, really don't need a ton of, of anything, really. So there it is, a whole new way to cook. Quick and easy, I can just pretty much set it and forget it. You remember that infomercial? <laughs> that infomercial, oh my God. Anyway, I'm gonna eat this and chill and go hang out with the family here in camp. 
Thanks for watching. Mwah. See you tomorrow.